everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to operate this drill press. This is a Powermatic drill press. Variable speed. Let's go over the parts of the machine. First of all, you have the Jacobs chuck, which is this device here that opens and closes and that allows for your drill bits to be attached to. It's three jaws, so it grabs like this three ways. Okay, and you need a chuck key to put it in to tighten it up. That's the first thing. Number two, you have an on-off button right here, which is you pull to turn it on. Okay, and you can see, and then it's digital readout on top, which is beautiful. And to shut it off, you can either tap it with your hand like this, or sometimes uh, in case of emergency, you can actually hit it with your forehead in case you want it to stop automatically. So you can just knock it, which is like just knock it, just really quick. Uh, it has two buttons here. It has a laser light and a regular light. So just showing you, if I press the button, let me turn the light on. There's the light for the, the drill press. And then it also has a laser. which shows you the exact mark that we, that is going to drill. All right, it has a depth stop gauge, which I'll show you later. Goes up and down. And what changes the variable speed is this wheel back here. Let me just turn it on for you. So now it's running at 825. If I turn the wheel, one way or the other, you change. Make it slower or faster. It's going to leave around 850. It has a handle, and when you roll the handle down, will actually bring the chuck up and down, just like that. Okay. With the laser light. Tilting table. Here you have the crank that raises and lowers the table. And to loosen it, to raise it, loosen, the, loosen this knob and crank it up or down. And you make sure you lock it in after you adjust it. In addition, you have a fence back here which actually uh, holds the wood in so it doesn't spin and on top of that this table can actually just shift 90, deg uh, 90 degrees so I can actually make the table tilt all the way up so I can drill it any angle I would like and those are the features of the drill press let me show you how to use it the drill press can use any drill bits that are round it has to be round in the back because it has to fit through a chuck which is a three jaw chuck. So this will work 
This Forstner bit also is round, so you can drill this size bit. And it will also do spade bits, bits too. And spade bits have, even though it has an octa octagonal uh, back here, uh, you can see that uh, it's actually it's actually six sided. Uh, it still will grip because it's round enough to hold the chuck. And you will need a chuck key. Let's say we need to drill a hole into this piece of wood, and you have a portable drill. A lot of times when you drill, it might not be exactly straight, and you won't be able to get it exactly 90 degrees. But with the drill press, you could actually do that because you have the table set almost 90 degrees to the chuck so that it will always be at the correct angle. So when you drill it, you can see that it will actually hit that mark perfectly. That's why a drill press is better than a portable drill. All right, today I'm going to show you how to drill a hole using the drill press. First thing you need to do is you need to uh, get the right bit, which is this twist drill bit. You're going to put it into your chuck key. Bring it all the way up. Use the key to tighten it. Use two, use two spots to tighten it so this way you know it's nice and solid. And since we're drilling 90 degrees, make sure that the bit is 90 degrees to the table, which it, it, which it is set. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me just show you here. So when you bring the blade down, it will cut 90 degrees. Now again, you could actually tilt the table for any angle you want. So if I want to cut a 45, I can do that also by tilting the table. Now, to set the machine up to make the exact cut right on that little mark, we need to turn our laser light on. So by looking at the laser light, we have the laser light. So we're going to turn that on, the function of the laser light. And line it up. Try to put exactly where it is going to go. Tighten up your fence. And we're going to check it. Here you see we have that laser mark. Now all we have to do is line up that mark in the center of our little black dot. It looks good. Now, this thing is a little low. So what we need to do is we need to raise it. But before we raise it, we know that if we drill into the woods, we can drill into this tabletop. So what we are going to do is, we don't really want to mess our table, is we have a sacrificial piece of wood here. Now this is a piece of wood that we're just going to sacrifice, just like that. And we're going to drill through this piece of wood and into the other. This way we don't blow out our hole on the other side. And uh, we are going to now just uh, set it up. So we want to go into this piece and through it, but not all the way through the table. And now we need to raise the table up. So let's just see what we can do to compensate for it. We need to move this all over. That, crank it up. Make sure it goes down. And also, we have a depth stop here, which makes the difference too. Okay, so we're going to adjust that in a second. All right, so that's where the table's going to be. Lock it in. Bring it up. Okay, we're going to set it up again. Let's see where it's going to be. Right there. It's going to move up a little bit more. Okay. Get this out of the way. Now, you could clamp it if you would like to. Uh, you don't really need to because the fence actually holds it because the pressure is going to push it that way. So you really don't need to clamp this at all. Now, you, you have a depth stop here. Gauge right here, and that allows you to adjust how deep you want it to go in. Because if I press it all the way down, see it's going to go all the way through. So I need to stop at a certain point. So this thing coming down will stop it. If I want to go just this far, that's all it will go. But I, know I need to go a little deeper, so I'm just going to set it up. So I think I need to raise it up a little bit. Just check it. You just want to go into that little piece of wood just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. 
we're going to now drill this hole, uh, but we need to first of all make sure we have the right speed, and we're setting up for 850, and it's all set. So now we're going to try to turn it on, and which it is, it's all set. Now we slide everything in nice and ready. Laser lights all set. Turn it on. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Make sure you do not put your fingers near there so you don't drill your fingers or your hands. You could clamp it up if you like to, but you don't really need to because this fence actually holds it in and it's locked in the back. And all you have to do is turn it on. And then just take the handle and pull it down slowly. Okay, don't brush the sawdust away because it might be hot. And there you have it. That's how you drill a hole all the way through. And also, it did not ruin my table. See? So let's drill a little bigger hole if we can. Spot. We need to go a little bit deeper, so we're just going to raise it up a little bit, just a tiny bit. Turn again. Again, if you don't move it, you don't have to worry about it going off. You can hear it. Bring it through. Shut it off. And then we're going to check it. There you have the second hole. And that's how you use a drill press. There you go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And again, uh, this uh, drill press is here for you to use. Good luck. Take care, everybody.